guys and welcome back to my channel so it's been a while um i just wanted to give a quick update on where things are now so i managed to get hold of a graphics card thank god for that because my computer was literally dying my graphics card was just literally juddering and everything was flashing and to be honest it was on its way out anyway i think i was just playing games on it that were too much for it now because it was from 2012 it was the gtx um 560 and Boy, it was old. It's been in a few people's computers. It was like, I got it from my partner who got it from his friend who got it from his friend and it's now going to go to somebody else who wants it. So it's one of those things where it's just a really old graphics car that was just a relic of most of our childhood. So yeah. Anyway, there's lots to be talking about. So right now, Alphabet Zoo, I'm actually going to be waiting for it to be turned into a sandbox um so we have the update coming up um which is being released on the 30th of march if i'm correct and with that update will come the option to turn franchise zoos into sandbox zoos which is really really exciting because um alphabet zoo right now is just not profitable so i'm not going to be able to continue building it in the way it is i've also want to go back and redo some bits of it so um You've not seen this on the videos because I recorded them, but then the files have been lost. So I want to rebuild the seal habitat. I want to rebuild the penguin habitat and I want to rebuild the otter habitat. Um, so I've just been in the process of destroying those, but it's costing money in the game and obviously it's franchise. So if I run out of money, I can't build anything. So we're going to move it into sandbox mode to finish it now, which I'm kind of sad about, but also thrilled about because it means I can then share it on the workshop and you guys can go and explore alphabet yourselves and see how I built stuff. Um, so where are we now? Well, this is my new zoo, which is going to be the one I will be continuing to build once Alphabet Zoo is completed. Um, I'm going to be building it as well and making a few videos just to tide us over till the update comes out. And essentially, this is DLC Zoo. So there are approximately 26 animals that are going to be going in the zoo. Um, so of course we have the four animals from the Arctic pack, which is the Arctic wolf, the doll sheep, and the reindeer and the polar bear. Um, we're also going to have... Well, we've also got most um, of the South American animals. So we have, you know, we've had them over here. Um, so we've got the llama habitat here. I've built a little walkthrough habitat. These are all very simple habitats that you sort of seen me build similar before. So I, I decided I'd just build these um, and get ahead of this project because um, the main reason I'm building this project is because the Southeast Asia Animal Pack is going to have eight new animals in it so i want to be able to just play with all the dlc animals because one of the things that's been frustrating because i started alphabet zoo in august of last year has been that when the australia pack came out it was months before i actually got to play with the australia pack animals and the same with the aquatic pack it's been ages since i've actually been able to play with some of the aquatic pack animals so the idea of this is that when a new dlc comes out we return to this zoo and start building um again i've started it in franchise mode because i think it's always interesting to see how people you know, to see how you can build amazing zoos in franchise mode without having to, you know, worrying too much about the, the cost of things. Now, I did struggle a little bit to get this one going. Um, the first habitat was actually the otters because I have sort of, uh, if I zoom out, um, you can see that I have essentially divided this area into sort of two or three sections. So we have this sort of desert mountainous area over here which is going to be where the Australia pack is going to be and the uh, so that'd be the kangaroo the koala the Casper, and the dingo is all going to be over here um, and we're also going to have in this section um, we're going to probably have the Thompson's gazelle and the Komodo dragon from the deluxe uh, planet zoo deluxe pack um, so there's three extra animals that I'm actually adding to the DLC in here so yeah so that'd be that'd be a good start to our desert section i'm hoping that i think the next pack could be an african pack and i think it could be an eight animal pack again um because we've already got african pieces in the game so i'm hoping that we'll be able to put those lovely african animals in here and hopefully we'll end up with something like meerkats and fennec foxes and skimmer to horned oryx and stuff like that so that's really really exciting this area over here i've spent a lot of time sort of just planning how this would be because i wanted to kind of make the most logical sense so to start off with, as I said, we have our otter habitat here. Um, I built this off screen just because 
Um, I didn't realise I'd be getting a graphics card quite as soon as I have. Like it was just pure luck, I guess. As I guess you, you don't, if you don't ask, you don't get. So anyway, this is our otter habitat. We currently have four otters in here. Um, we have a little island. Um, they've got an underwater viewing area over here. We've got just like a food court up here and I'm going to be working on the entrance so some of the videos will just be me making the entrance look super pretty. They've got an indoor area over here which if we zoom in is very bland and basic um, but yeah it's kind of cozy and it kind of there's a, a place that used to be open in Manchester called the Owl and Otter Sanctuary and the otters used to live in little huts like this and most of the time you'd go there and they'd be asleep because you'd go in like you know when it was cold and they would just be inside asleep so that's kind of what i was going for with that um but i really really love having this like pool habitat here i think it's just really like a nice breaks up the kind of like the landscape a bit so obviously we have our educator talk points now i'll be building uh, habitats with that in mind specifically now in the future um and so in here we have our caiman habitat which i am super excited i've featured them on the the front cover of this uh video like the thumbnail um so i love the caimans i didn't think i'd like them as much as i have this is the first time i've actually had a chance to play with them um but essentially i just love that they are these tiny little crocodile it doesn't require much space you know um and so you can create this like lovely little little terrarium area we currently have five um just because what well, they've had babies so once they finish having babies then that'll be that done um and we'll have go back to having two but for the time being we've got five in here and just just look at this this is just i love what you can do with the roots from the south america pack and like i'm hoping that they'll swim under here but i think it's a little bit too shallow um the idea was that they would have like a little tunnel they could swim through and again just look how beautiful these guys are um they are just beautiful um so yeah anyway that is that done and obviously we've got the new waterfall features from the aquatic park and there's going to be an exhibit in here um and yeah so that's this caiman habitat that i've been building which has been really exciting so that's a few animals ticked off i think we've got approximately four or five habitat animals yeah we've got one two three four habitat animals so far so we've ticked off most of the south american dlc um as it stands and this over here is our capuchin habitat it's a little bit small but it was really exciting because i've never actually built a habitat like this before i usually like to build you know walk through habitats for things like the capuchins and all the animals that can be walk through habitats but i really enjoyed trying to build this really realistic kind of like style building um obviously as the new pack is the asia pack we're going with a general asian theme here um so there's this little viewing area that I'm working on. Again, everything is still works, works in progress here. So what you're seeing is not obviously the completed thing. And there's going to be lots to work on. Um, oh yeah, this is our underwater area for the otters here. I've yet to actually put signposts and things in. I'm really excited to create some billboard stuff for this. Um, so I'll be getting into Photoshop and making some stuff just for this zoo specifically. Like I'm kind of excited to be starting a new project because Alphabet Zoo is just getting so cumbersome now. And it's taking, I was supposed to get it done before Christmas, and we are almost there, but I'm also so excited to be able to put the Southeast Asia animals in it. So hopefully we'll be done before the next pack comes out. Um, like the videos might go past the next pack, but I'm hoping that we, we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, so then we have this walkthrough habitat to get to the South American slash Asian jungle section. This is what this is going to be. So we've got a lot of llamas in here. They just have basically a field, but they have a talk point, and the guests really, really enjoy this. So I can't really complain. It's a bit bland, but they really like it. And then over here we have our jaguar habitat. So um, it was quite funny because when I started building this, trying to get it all working so that the llamas wouldn't jump in, but they kept wanting to commit suicide by basically running across here, jumping off these rocks straight into the water and then just swimming around. And the jaguars were looking at them to say, what on earth are you doing? Um, but you look pretty tasty, so I don't really mind so much. Um, so yeah, so actually most of this habitat is blocked in by just some rocks that are hidden in the trees here, but I wanted it to feel like this is just a natural habitat. Um, that's kind of the style I end up building in. Not very realistic, but also feeling very natural. I guess I should probably put some barrier or something here just so that the guests can't fall into the water. Um, 
but yeah and then there's like this little bridge thing we've got going on here with the water going in there there's going to be a waterfall on the other side i'm going to build this up to look like a bit like a weir and then we have our top point for the jaguars where as you can see the food has just gone off um but i'm loving these new pieces i love these these stone pieces as you can see i go a bit mad with them over here um so this is just some staff buildings that i've hidden in the rocks and this is the Jaguar Den. So I took this from Alphabet Zoo because I really like what I built in Alphabet Zoo, but I want to kind of improve on it. Um, so this is my improvement on it, I guess. Um, I do like the bamboo pieces. I'm trying to stick to theming for the set areas. I'm still working on the inside of this as well. Um, I'm hoping, again, to put some billboards in here. I've got some artwork I've been working on that I want to get on some education boards, um, which I think would be really cool. Um, so yeah, I need to sort the lighting out in here, but we have our jaguars, which are happy in here. Yeah, I like to have these habitats where the guests are looking down and the jaguars have to climb up if they want to come and sleep, and then they sleep near the glass, because I just think it adds a bit more, like, interest to the habitat. Um, so this is the indoor area. It looks pretty bland and boxy from the outside. I am going to be, again, doing a bit more work into it. I'm sort of... This isn't going to be a strictly habitat by habitat base thing there'll be videos where i'm going to be kind of just doing a bit of work in the meantime because i want the zoo to be the best zoo i've ever built really alphabet zoo is great and i've learned a lot building and i've tried to push my like boundaries of what i can do um so i'm really excited to see what i'm going to be building with this and what we can create and any ideas and input will be fantastic so very quickly while we're here um, the list of animals that's going to be in the zoo is the arctic wolf, the doll sheep, the reindeer, the polar bear, the jaguar, the anteater, the capuchin, the llama, the kangaroo, the cassowary, the koala, the dingo, the grey seal, the penguin, um, the otter and the caiman, the thompson's gazelle, the komodo dragon, the pygmy hippo, and then we're going to get onto the southeast asia animals which is the sun bear, the malayan tapir, the proboscis monkey, the binturong, the dole, the babarusa and the clouded leopard. And obviously there'll be some um, exhibit animals in there too. I'm probably just going to add all the exhibit animals because there's not that many anyway. And we'll just use it just to help pad out areas of the zoo. So yeah, um, that's where we're at really. And it's really exciting to be starting a new project. It's really exciting to be able to record it. And it's really exciting to be able to share it because that's one of my favourite things really about this game is it's nice being able to like just share these things with people and like nobody else I know really plays Planet Zoo so it's nice to be able to have these conversations and be able to share what I'm building with you guys and also you know get feedback and ideas from everybody else as well. It's just a really great community. So yeah that is where we are at and I'm just gonna press play now and we can enjoy everything in full motion but yeah um that's it so so my new video schedule i'm aiming for one video a week but it just sort of depends really um i guess on my work schedule how busy i am with work um my new job is kind of at the moment it's going to be really quiet because i'm still doing a lot of training but as it picks up there'll be sort of things where i have to kind of go as like an emergency responder kind of thing to various things um to and deal with that so um yeah it i'm not gonna say for definite it'll be more than once a week um but for the time being i'm gonna try and aim for once a week and if i have time to do more there'll be more but for now we'll just go with what we've got uh, Time-wise, these otters are just so cute. Like, you know what? I've warmed up to the otters. I wasn't entirely sure on them. I think they do look a little bit like evil. I'm not gonna lie, but like at the same time, they are also really, really quite cute, and they make really cute noises. So I can't really complain. And it is fun to watch them swim around. Like, yeah, they really, really go for it when they start going underwater and start swimming deep, and they just look really cool. Um, so yeah, it's been nice to actually play with some of these like animals that I've just not been able to play with properly and just enjoy them. Um, but yeah, so um, I think that's kind of it really um, for now. I'm hoping that um, you'll be able to see more of me in the coming weeks. And yeah, as for now, the videos are back. Why do these guys really enjoy swimming? These guys, like, everything from South America just really likes swimming, you know, in this game. Um, 
anyway yeah so we will be back with more videos in the future and the next few videos will probably be me building this zoo um so sorry if you're a bit disappointed about that alphabet zoo is still going to be continued but as i said we're just going to wait wait for the next update and then i will start off again back with the alphabet zoo videos there will probably be a little bit of lag time as well because i like to have all my videos made and like on a schedule so yeah anyway i will see you guys in the next one as it starts to rain and take care uh, stay safe out there and all that and yeah see you in the next one